Although some celestial bodies in our planetary system appear similar to Earth at first glance, the galactic phenomena that take place on the corresponding moons and planets sometimes differ significantly from those spectacles on our terrestrial home. One celestial object that often becomes the focus of scientific interest is Jupiter's moon Io. A few years ago, researchers took a closer look at the pronounced volcanism on the natural satellite, and some striking changes in the moon's magnetic fields were detected. The conclusions drawn from these investigations suggest that Io could be completely different from what the experts had previously assumed. What makes Jupiter's third largest satellite so unique, and what the mysterious magma ocean beneath the moon's surface is all about, you'll find out in the following video. Interested in more fascinating articles about the universe? Then subscribe to Simply Space and never miss one of our videos again. If you like the content of our videos, let us know with a thumbs up. At the end of today's post, we've linked to more exciting topics for you, which you can get to by clicking on the thumbnails in the credits. Io, the colorful volcanic moon. Like Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, Io is characterized as one of the four large Galilean moons. As the name suggests, the corresponding celestial bodies were discovered by none other than the world-famous polymath Galileo Galilei. The Italians succeeded in this undertaking in the year 1610, not least due to the high reflectivity of these Jupiter satellites. Because of their high albedo, the celestial bodies can even be seen from Earth with binoculars. Io is separated from its ancestral fixed point by a distance of about 261,970 miles. The innermost of the Galilean moons needs a little more than one day and 18 hours to completely orbit Jupiter once. With an equatorial diameter of almost 2,264 miles, Io makes it to fourth place among the largest moons in our planetary system. Although the surface of the moon appears extremely rugged at first glance, in reality, Io has hardly any impact holes. Experts draw the conclusion that the surface of the celestial body must be relatively young. The numerous natural formations on the outer side of the moon are therefore not meteorite craters, but rather cauldron-shaped depressions in the ground structure, which can be traced back to eruptions of magma chambers. In the technical world, these volcanic craters are called calderas. They are joined by lakes of liquid sulfur, which are responsible for Io's spectacular color spectrum. This is due to the fact that sulfur deposits naturally radiate in a wide variety of colors. In addition, streams of boiling hot lava extend for hundreds of miles across the surface of Jupiter's moon. The hottest of these lava accumulations, called hotspots, often reach temperatures of more than 3,092 degrees Celsius. Breathtaking Natural Spectacles on Jupiter's Moon in total, Jupiter's moon is home to more than 300 volcanic calderas. Some of these formations reach diameters of 240 miles. At the same time, these unique objects protrude miles into the ground. It's obvious that most of these galactic volcanic calderas are still active. Besides these countless calderas, there are also some volcanic mountains on Io which structurally resemble their terrestrial counterparts. Until the Voyager mission was carried out in the late 1970s, the scientific community was not at all aware that there are other celestial bodies in our planetary system besides Earth that are characterized by active volcanism. In fact, Io clearly stands out in the ranks of volcanically active objects. No other known moon or planet in our solar system has such pronounced volcanism. 
In the course of detailed research, it became clear that the natural spectacles on the surface of Io are a real galactic spectacle. As soon as a volcano erupts on Jupiter's constant companion, a mixture of liquid sulfur and sulfur dioxide is hurled into the surrounding area at breathtaking speed. The fountains, which are often 2,372 degrees Celsius hot, reach top speeds of over 2,200 miles per hour. Since on Io, relatively low gravity prevails, the corresponding substances are pushed up to 180 miles into the air. Afterwards, the scorching hot substances fall back on the surface of the Moon, where they accumulate in the form of impressive deposits. Due to this unrestrained volcanic activity, the surface structure of Io is practically subject to constant change. But what is actually the origin of these breathtaking spectacles? Experts agree that it is primarily the influence of Jupiter on its natural satellite that significantly shapes the active volcanism on Io. Those tidal forces have such a strong effect on the Moon that essentially it constantly heats up. Specifically, the forces exerted on Io by the largest planet in our solar system are 6,000 times stronger than the Moon's influence on our Earth. The Magma Ocean Beneath Io's Surface As exciting as the breathtaking volcanic processes on Io are, they nevertheless continue to raise new questions for leading researchers. The thesis that a gigantic ocean could be slumbering beneath the surface of some of the moons in our solar system is nothing new among experts. However, the fact that this imposing subglacial accumulation is boiling hot magma is again tantamount to an astronomical sensation. Experts came to the conclusion that this is most likely the case on Io when they examined the natural processes on Jupiter's moon. As mentioned earlier, the forces that Jupiter exerts on its constant companion play a crucial role in its pronounced volcanism. When researchers subjected these natural constellations to a computer simulation, they came to the conclusion that volcanically active objects would have to be formed on the Moon above all in those regions that are heated up the most by the influence of Jupiter. The comparison with the real conditions on Io, however, soon showed that the volcanoes actually formed much further east than scientists had predicted. The experts used different approaches to explain this deviation. On the one hand, the theory was put forward that Io could in fact be rotating much faster than experts had assumed up to that point. The other theory assumes, rather, that the surface of the Jupiter moon could be hiding a gigantic magma ocean. testing the hypothesis of the magma sea. To get to the bottom of this theory, experts created new models. This time, they included the effects of an underground magma sea on the volcanic features of Io's surface. The experts took into account that subterranean accumulation would consist not only of molten rock, but also partly of solid rock fragments. Following this initial situation, the experts came to the conclusion that the molten rock segments would always come into contact with their solid counterparts due to the prevailing gravity. With the framework of this subterranean friction, significantly more heat would be generated below the lunar surface than previously assumed. In fact, this theoretical model could explain the real volcanic changes on Io. The thesis of a subterranean magma sea is supported by a new evaluation of the magnetic field data, which the unmanned space probe Galileo collected between the years 1999 and 2000. According to the data, it is highly probable that an imposing layer of molten and solid rock particles up to 30 miles thick is hidden beneath the outer shell of the satellite. Experts were prompted to make this assumption by the constant changes in the Moon's magnetic field. To explain this process, a substance is needed that has corresponding electrical conductivity. 
The existence of liquid magma below the lunar surface can undoubtedly explain the phenomena in the magnetic fields. Accordingly, at least 20% of the subglacial magma ocean should consist of liquefied rock fragments. At the same time, Temperatures of about 2,642 degrees Fahrenheit would prevail in the subterranean lunar ocean. Opposing view. What speaks against the existence of a magma ocean? Whether Io actually harbors a gigantic subglacial ocean of boiling hot magma needs to be investigated more thoroughly in the course of future research. In fact, some experts are already coming forward with valid arguments against the hypothesis of a subterranean magma sea. A study was published about a year ago, which came to the conclusion that the changes in the magnetic field, as well as the manifestations of volcanic formations on the lunar surface, don't necessarily have to be connected with the existence of a magma sea. Once again, it was the information collected by the Galileo spacecraft that became the focus of scientific interest. With the renewed consideration of the data, the assumption came up fast in the ranks of experts that their colleagues had been caught in an error. The spectacles on and around Jupiter's moon could be justified by the condition of its atmosphere. In the context of the previous studies, the scientists assumed that the moon's atmosphere is much thinner than it is in reality. Renewed evaluations assumed a clearly thicker atmosphere. Taking these natural circumstances into account, the changes in the magnetic field could be explained without the influence of a magma sea. Io's atmosphere is formed to a large extent from those gases that reach the uppermost layers during volcanic eruptions. This enormously sulfurous protective shell could show some irregularities. The interplay of volcanic activity, Io's spatial constellation with Jupiter, and the forces the planet exerts on its satellite would ultimately be enough to conclusively justify the data collected by the Galileo spacecraft. What are your thoughts on the subsurface magma ocean on Io? Drop us your feedback on our video in the comments. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.